What's up everybody? Welcome to Podcast Now. I'm Alex and in this video I want to talk about a particular idea to open up Scream 7, talk about my opinion on it, but first let's talk about where it came from and the idea itself. This actually comes from Screen Rant. So just that alone, there is some drama with that. I think rightful drama, by the way. Screen Rant is an interesting place. I do, and I have said this actually on like social media on Twitter, I do applaud them for like keeping Scream around in their rotation. If you go to screen ramp and i do it like from time to time just gonna kind of see what's up i used to go on there a lot more back when i was i guess growing up late teens and stuff uh they keep scream in a pretty heavy rotation there are scream articles all the time i think they actually had done and another reason why i kind of liked them originally pirates of the caribbean they always had like theories or like lists kind of articles on pirates that's my favorite franchise with scream probably being my second favorite so they have something going for them but ultimately i think as i've got and older and especially as I've become more critical of gaming journalists journalists in general media right uh, it's a lot of clickbait garbage let's just be real a lot of it is just to get the attention of people get those quick clicks they're very entry line uh, you know kind of beginner like ideas and that's kind of all they are but I will say now like is killing Chad and Mindy in the opening right that's what we're talking about so they had an article talking about okay well what if you killed these two off in the beginning to focus on Sydney the drama around it as I believe Ryan Showers had already floated this idea out a little while ago and people are kind of claiming that Screen Rant is copying. I wouldn't put it by them. I think that's probably pretty likely to be honest with you. Um, and I just wanted to kind of address that, right? So I, it comes from Screen Rant, but this has been an idea that has been floating out for a while. So now, okay, let's take Screen Rant out of the picture. What do I think of it? What does good old Alex of Podcast now think of it? I'm not a big fan. I gotta be honest. I'm not a big fan of killing Chad and Mindy in the opening. Now, Here's the deal. I actually would be a fan of this under certain circumstances that are not present right now. And it's if Melissa and Jenna or Sam and Tara were in the movie. I think if you were doing something with the core four and you opened with one or more of the core four's death, that makes a lot of sense. We've talked about that for like a year plus, right? That was an option. Uh, not an, I mean, I guess it was an option, but it was something we were talking about, right? Going even into Scream 6. Could you kill like Chad, let's say, in the opening? And little did we know that they made Chad an excellent character in Scream 6, right? But going into Scream 7, I think it would be something you could do. In fact, I think Mindy, you know, again, if let's say in the alternate universe that Tara and Sam were in it, I think Mindy is absolutely a candidate to be taken out. In one way, it's insulting to do it in this situation. And number two, I just don't really think it works. So the insulting part, I think, would literally just come in the direction of you, you fire, you know, Melissa. You let Jenna go or whatever ends up happening there, right? Those two are gone. You bring in Jasmine and Mason, and this is assuming they sign on, which I do want to address. Let's assume they sign on. You bring them in, and then you kill their characters in the opening. You are effectively saying, screw off to the core four. Now, there are some people that I think would like that, but generally, you have the people that made five and six a success, and I don't really think you need to, like, full-out punch them in the face or, or punch the idea of the core four in the face. You know what I mean? E even if you want to move the focus to Sydney, which, again, and, and if that's the idea, I mean, yeah, you can move the focus to Sydney, but you don't have to kill off the entire rebooted, you know, kind of cast or requel cra uh, cast. You can simply kind of retire them off into the sunset, right? So that, that would, in my opinion be the insulting part where it's not just what you did with Melissa and, and Jenna, but then also you're bringing the other two in to murder them in the first five, 10 minutes and say, okay, goodbye. And I believe in the Screen Rant article, they talked about how like Sam and Tara would be alive kind of in this concept. I get it. And it is an option. And actually I wouldn't really put it past them to try something like this. And I guess as long as you keep Sam and Tara around, you know, there's always a chance down the line, maybe you make up or the rights get sold or whatever. But just something would irk me about the idea that you're not making a movie about the core four, but you kill off two of those people. You know, like, like that's as simple as I guess it comes to me. It can get more complex in, I guess, two different ways. One way off the top of my head, the Chad and Tara thing. So like killing Chad, it's almost like, okay, when you kill off Dewey or if you did kill off Gail, what did we want? Well, with Dewey, you wanted at least the other two there. At least this is me. 
I wanted the other two there, not necessarily like in his death scene, but I needed to see their reaction to it. And we got that. Yes, we didn't get the three of them together. That probably was a big mistake, but we did get their response to that happening. If Gale were to have died in 6, one of my biggest complaints or my biggest worries going into 6, and even as she was about to die, you know, you didn't know 50-50 if she was going to die in the movie, is, you know, you know whether it's impactful or not in that moment, I need to kind of see how Sydney reacts to that, right? And so to not have Nev in Scream 6, if you killed off Gale, you don't have the reaction. So where I'm getting at, well, Chad, and you could also argue Mindy, but Chad really because of the connection to Tara. If you killed off Chad, okay, why would you do that, right? Well, normally it would probably to be to get a response from Tara, or from Sam and Tara, right? Tara would be, you know, emotionally broken up because she lost the, her boyfriend, but then Sam and Tara, because it would affect their lives, right? Ghostface is coming after them, killed off two members of the core four, right? So if you kill them off now, why, why would you even do, like, what's the purpose? Why do you actually need to kill them off? The single purpose would literally be to eliminate that kind of plot line, the core four, from the, the record books. Like, to me, because if you kill Chad, you would need Tara. You need Tara to kind of react to it. And again, you'd want to see maybe not even just her response. You'd want to see Sam's as well. Another issue is, and, and this is what I actually said on, on Twitter, would they even come back, right? So if you're Jasmine and you're Mason, whether or not, I guess you could say, well, maybe Alex, they've already signed on. And there were rumors that a couple people, you know, had signed on. Maybe it was them, but maybe the rumors were fake, right? There's all sorts of rumors that were going on. Some of them are real. Some of them aren't. Would you as those two come back? And that's like, that's one of the biggest things, you know, Jasmine specifically, but I think Mason as well, like, but Jasmine is very vocal, you know, on social media, and she's got a lot of political stances, a lot of stuff, right? And I'm not saying like, you know, good, bad, whatever, she just does. So like, okay, well, does she side with Melissa? Is she going to put up, you know, this thing on social media and they're going to decide, well, we can't move forward with her either. You know, basically just what's behind the scenes going on there, right? So if you can't even get them back, that's a problem. Then the concept wouldn't happen. But number two, would they really come back to be killed off in the first five, 10 minutes? Now you could argue, or, or maybe I could just throw in devil's advocate. Well, if they sign on, would they necessarily know like their place in the script? Well, okay, to play, you know, to answer my own devil's advocate, I feel like you'd have to, right? If you're them and you just watch the two leads and one of them is like one of the biggest stars, you know, in Hollywood over the past like two, three years, if you saw that happen, which clearly they did, don't you have at least a little like want to see the script, right? Because you're going to say, okay, well, you just did that to them too. Scream 7 is all up in flames. Like we don't know what's going on. I need to know my role in this movie before I sign. I'm not signing on to not know. And there's another dilemma, right? Would they even sign on off of principle? You could argue, we've talked about that, right? Like Nev, hey, Nev Campbell, when she was asked, she kind of made it sound like she'd still be up for it, you know, if everything kind of works out. You can have, you know, sadness and, and even maybe hate towards some of the people that did what they did to Melissa and Jenna. You can have that while also still participating in the project. You know, that these are people that also were okay enough to work on the project when Nev Campbell wasn't getting... And I'm not... You know, again, I'm not saying that makes them evil or anything. That's just what happens. So, yeah, it is possible that they would come back even though all this stuff happened to their, you know, their friends. That could happen. But even if it does, would they come back for five, ten minutes to be killed, you know, in, in the opening? And I just... That's... There's a lot of things to like what ifs. Those are a lot of what ifs that all have to like come out the same way in order for this to happen. So I just, I don't see it happening. Um, you know, it depends obviously on who they get back. But if like Nev, if Sydney is the primary focus, maybe it's an attack on them or Mark and the kids, right? As, as we've kind of discussed. Or, you know, if you bring Courtney Cox, you bring in Hayden Panettiere, maybe you can go after Kirby. That would make more sense still because of the connection to Gail and Sydney. Uh, yeah, she was connected, I guess, to the core four for one movie, right? But you could still make it work. So I feel like there's other options. I, I really don't see how a Mindy and Chad thing would work because you would need the other two. And without those other two, and we've said this, like, do you even try to get them back at all? I think it's 50-50 because, like, they're 
just not the two most important people in that four person group. They're the two least important. So, and I'm not saying they're terrible. I love Ch Chad's awesome. Chad's an amazing character. Mindy's had her ups and downs. And I think Chad is overall the better character, but I don't know. I, I think neither of them make too much sense anymore, like at all. Um, so you, I mean, maybe you could argue that with Kirby as well, going after Scream 4 or into Scream 6, but I, I think it's a little bit different, uh, kind of situation with these two. So let me know what you guys think in the comments. Make sure you're subscribed to the channel, bell icon turned on, and I hope to see you all on the next one.